let's talk about secure one-way connections from your applications to Azure SQL Managed Instance using Azure Private Link. There are three ways your apps can connect to Managed Instance. One, your instance only advertises a VNet local endpoint. Your apps, therefore, either reside in the same virtual network, in a peered virtual network, speak into a VPN tunnel, or talk to an appliance, such as a firewall or a load balancer. Two, your instance advertises a public endpoint. You secure this path with network security group rules on the instance's subnet. This is sometimes exactly what you need, but other times is a bit too coarse for the security perimeter you're drawing around your assets. Three, you have a private endpoint in your app's virtual network. This is a bit like having a dedicated network cable from that VNet all the way to your managed instance. The cable is called Private Link, and it's inbound jack private endpoint. This lets you keep your SQL in an isolated network environment. You use private endpoints to grant and revoke unidirectional access to it in a fast, secure, and auditable fashion. No peering, no VPNs, appliances, or public IP addresses. You can airlock your data, implement hub and spoke topologies, stage publisher consumer scenarios, and conserve IP address space. Here's how to do it. Over here to the left, I have one Azure SQL Managed Instance. Over there, to the right, I have my app, SQL Server Management Studio, running in a virtual machine in a different VNet. And, as you can see, it can't connect to my Managed Instance. So let's create a private link from the instance to the app's VNet. There are several ways to do this, but I'll go to the instance, select Private Endpoint Connections, and hit the big plus. In Basics, we name the endpoint and define its region. This should be the region of the virtual machine's virtual network. In Resource, Azure already knows which managed instance we're patching into, so a quick confirmation and we can go on. In Virtual Network, we tell Azure where the private endpoint, or the other end of the cable, is to go. We'll place it in our app network and subnet. In DNS, if the DNS integration is enabled, select Yes. Otherwise, we'll set it up by hand. In Review and Create, I kick it off and wait for the endpoint and the link to go live. Here's our private endpoint. If you did enable DNS integration, we'd be ready to go. If, like me, you didn't, we'll do so right now. Let's quickly locate the endpoint's IP address. Network interface. And look for it next to the private IPv4 address label. Now, I'll create a private DNS zone in my app's resource group. And I'll name it private link dot the domain of my instance. This zone will help SQL Server Management Studio resolve instance name to the private endpoint we've just created. Now, I'll add a DNS record mapping the host name of my instance to the IP address of the private endpoint. Finally, I'll attach this zone to the app's network. In Virtual Network Links, give the link a name, and select the virtual network where our application is. Now we're good to go. Let's try to connect. And we're in. For more details and a broader range of scenarios, visit aka.ms slash SQLMI dash private link. Thanks for watching.